Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I present to you the long-awaited Aquarius key. There will be more key tutorials coming, so keep your eyes open. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So first you're going to want to take a paper clip and you're going to want to bend it until it's straight. This will be used to support the middle of the key. Next you're going to take a small ball of gold clay, I'm using Fimo brand, and you're going to want to roll it into a nice thin log. Then cut it to your desired length and poke a hole into the top of it. We're going to insert the paper clip into that hole that we just poked and it will be used to just solidify the key and it will make it harder for it to break. With another small ball of clay you're going to roll it out until it's flat around 4 millimeters thick and you're going to cut out a sort of pineapple shape except where the top of the pineapple be should be instead of it being all pineapple-y it's going to have a sort of diamond or house shape. As you can see here I'm just smoothing down the edges with the end of my exacto. Once you're done that you're going to want to make two indents just solidifying that diamond shape. Then you're going to want to poke a hole with a needle tool in there so that we can fit the paper clip and the body in there. Once everything's in place, just smooth it together so that it will stay. For the next step, you're going to want to roll out a relatively thin log, thinner than the main body of your key, and you're going to cut off two pieces around the same length, and you're going to bend them into triangular shapes and stick them right under where we connected the body of the key to the top of the key. For some extra details, we're going to take a very, very thin piece of clay and we're going to roll it out and stick it in between those two little triangles and it's just going to add some really nice detail and decoration. After that, you're going to take another thin log around half the thickness of your main body and you're going to want to roll it out really long with both the ends slightly tapered. Then you're going to roll one of the tapered ends into a little spiral. You're going to attach these to the head of the key and this will make the sort of handle look. Once you've done one, do the same thing for the other side and you're good to go. To add some more detail, you're going to roll out a really small ball and attach it to the top of the key. Then you're going to roll out another really tiny ball and stick it on top of that one. Next we're going to add a few more decorations and by that you're just going to roll out a few more really really thin pieces and wrap them around the body of the key. It's time to move on to the base of the key. So what you're going to need is another small log, maybe two thirds the size of your main one and you're going to make them have little pointed tips, sort of like a bull's horn. Then you're going to cut off a little triangle near the thicker end and you're going to curve them so that you can get little swirlies. Next you're going to make two more horns, except this time instead of making them more swirled, you're going to make an indentation two-thirds across the key, closer to the thick end. And this is just going to make it look a bit cooler. Once the indentation is done, curve the tip and you can attach them to the very bottom of the key. And on top of them, you're going to add your little swirlies that we made a bit earlier. To finish off the bottom of the key, you're going to make two more swirlies, about half the size of the first ones, and you're going to attach them just above where those bigger swirlies are. After that, we're going to add a few more decorations um, meaning more thin pieces. Once you're done adding all the little thin decorations and whatnot, you're going to take your needle tool and poke the very top and add an eye pin if you want to. For one of the last decoration pieces, you're going to take an extremely thin piece of clay, probably around one millimeter thick, and you're going to cut out a small heart. Once it's cut out, you're going to attach it part way over the diamond triangle shape and part way onto the oval shape of the head of the key. And then to finish that off, you're going to take a small thin um, strip of gold and just go around the heart and it will make it look more 3D. To 
finish off the key, you're going to roll out really thin translucent clay, let's say maybe two millimeters thick, and you're going to trace out an oval slightly smaller than the actual gold oval and it has a few other shapes in it too. I don't really know how to describe it. There are two little triangles poking out from the middle and then it comes back down and it has a little semicircle taken out of it. Now as you can see here it was a little bit big and it was covering the heart so if that ever happens just trim it away gently making sure not to cut your actual the heart part of it but um, it's relatively easy just to go along really softly. For one of the last steps you're going to take a really really thin snake of gold clay and just go around your translucent oval shape and that will just clean up the edges and it looks a lot more detailed and nice. For the very last step of the key you're going to draw two horseshoe shapes and then you're going to take a really thin snake of light blue clay and fill it in. And this is what the key should look like when it's been baked and glazed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've been kind of absent but I'm getting back from vacation soon so I really hope you guys liked the tutorial and if you didn't or if you did please leave me suggestions for things you want to see, things I can improve on and thanks for watching.